little. So you guys, we're basically like in the middle of nothing, and yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. I'm starting this one here because, wow, well, I feel like this on never ending day, but I said that at the end of the previous vlog. I woke up at 4.15 actually because I was like, let me do my hair in the morning. It was like a disaster last night. And we arrived where else but to Plaza Athene in Paris, my favorite Parisian palace. Honestly, like one thing I have to say and my team can witness. If I'm lying, I have witnesses. I arrived this morning to the hotel and I had the most most beautiful welcome from the team here. First, like concierge Charles, like we love him. He helps us always so much during the fashion weeks and he was like, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. You know, like when you just feel so happy. But anyway, I'm not gonna like be gushing anymore. This is like, this video is not in collaboration. I'm just telling you honestly from the heart because it means so much to me. And we arrived to the room. How much do we love it? Love. We love it? Do we love it? No? <laughs> Anybody? Completely love it, right? Yeah. We have a beautiful suite with a lot of luggages because we are staying for how many days? Not even 24 hours, right? <laughs> we're staying one night at Plaza because we had the project to shoot. We're working on a very special project. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to Capri, which I will show you in the rest of this vlog. And it's first time I'm ever going to Capri in like April. Do you want to go ahead of me so that you can get me in a better light? Yeah. So we are going to show you guys. You know what? Like, obviously I'm sure you've seen on my channel, I think you've seen like me 20 times show Eiffel Tower views from Plaza Atene, but every time it's a different balcony, like this time we have stone balcony and it's just so freaking spectacular. I don't know, it's just so beautiful, right? Okay. And it's so different to the other balconies, which we've also had before, but I think this is so pretty. And this is also our balcony, just for the bed, I think, from the bedroom, yeah. I love it but obviously you know what the balcony looks like so let's also show you the wardrobe we're not really unpacking like i said 24 hours not enough time tight schedule tomorrow morning my flight is at 9 20 so we're doing as much as we can today oh by the way what am i wearing this is not my travel outfit at all i looked so different this morning i will link it below i'm wearing these gucci shorts that i got on luisa via roma which have horse bit at the back and the uh, jacquemus blazer who remembers this one got it a while back anyway in the wardrobe we have actually i want to take a picture of that so i'm gonna take it right from me we have my uh, vintage blazer from chanel that i got from vintage studio milan and i cannot wait to take pictures in it so right now i'm gonna take pictures i'm gonna take girls for lunch or we're gonna have lunch and like chat and we need to take some reels too because when in paris and can i just say one thing to you guys Guys, 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 this is coming with me because I am so, when I saw it, I almost squeaked. Plus, Plaza Athene always gives the best welcome. And I can't wait because tonight I'm gonna have my favorite pizza margarita in room, in bed, with my boyfriend. I actually, we love that. It's our tradition. Plaza Athene, pizza margarita in bed. If you ever come and stay at this hotel, which I do not see why you shouldn't, try the pizza margarita in the room. Guys, it is like four o'clock and it's my the first proper meal of the day because is it? We need something. We just had matches, all three of us. But now I decided to take the team for lunch because we did a great job. So let's begin. What's the time, baby? I don't know, nine? No, 9.25. Wow. 9 I'm very, very nasal speaking. You know, remember I told you this, like when I don't sleep for a very long time. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> it's so cute. Somehow I become very like nasal, like I get very tired and I get a little bit of headache and you know when as well when I'm jet lagged No, but you're not jet lagged. You just woke up at 4 a.m. baby, which is not uh, so Pleasant. I was a very busy kid today. We worked on the project and then I got back Took the girls for lunch, you saw that. Worked on some more things. Oh, I have some news. I went to the bank. I sorted like all of my stuff. Like, you know, I was a very good girl. Really? Yep. And what else I want to tell you? I went for a fitting to Louis Vuitton because, ladies and gentlemen, I'll, anno I'll announce it already. Shall I announce it already? I will announce it. <laughs> I will be going with my beloved Louis Vuitton family to 
San Diego for the cruise show. In, in fact, in like two weeks' time. Yeah, it's in two weeks' time. Well, no. Yeah. So I did a fitting, and while I was there, I received a really beautiful gift that I want to show you. Well, first of all, Vuitton is a brand that I cherish, I love, and that means a lot to me because it's one of the brands that have been working with me for a very long time, and I always felt appreciated by them. And this is their spring coffre. And inside, oh, I cannot wait to show you. Okay, hopefully you can see me. I'm not sure how the light is and I feel, yeah. But inside of the <laughs> Spring Summer Cafe, which will have like such a beautiful place in my home, it says, in line with Louis Vuitton's environmental actions, this collector's box showcasing our new sunglasses and silk square collection has been developed using an eco-design approach. Very impressive. More than 87% of materials used for the box are responsibly sourced, reused, recycled and or certified and the rigid structure is made of 100% recycled cardboard. Learn more about our commitment journey and it's a really really nice calligraphic note, love it. But what I wanted to show you is the pair of sunglasses that you will see me wear non-stop and you will be asking me non-stop, okay where are these from? So let me just make it easy. Guys, how stunning are these sunglasses? I am obsessed. Like, look at the detailing. Can you see the detailing? One more thing I wanted to say to you. Obviously, I'm reading all of your comments and responding to most of them. And I have noticed that some of you have complained about the sound of my videos. And this camera that I'm vlogging with at the moment is like an old camera, but it's the one that I have with the flip screen, so it's quite convenient to vlog. But I believe in less than five days, my new camera is coming. So that will improve. I'm working on it. I honestly search for that camera in the US. I ordered it before right after fashion week i ordered it but it was out of stock so it's a process and i am so grateful that you guys are patient with me so thank you and on top of that i got something that i haven't shown you but i am utterly in love with because as many of you will recall i stayed without my cousin and i love this bag so much it's navy smaller size cousin with a silver chain and I'm so, so happy. It's coming to Capri tomorrow with me. Guys, 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 new day. And I wanted, well, first of all, I woke up at 6 a.m. So we're improving from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. What I wanted to tell you is that I wanted to start vlogging this morning at the airport. I arrived there, like, I was like, okay, it's all good, you know, I'm gonna get the camera out of the bag now. And then I just kept running into people because, like, I was, I was on the plane from Paris, which basically was full of journalists, like, you can imagine, like, all the Parisian, French publications, etc. And a lot of them are my friends, so I was kind of, like, catching up because many of them I haven't seen in a long time. And um, since my kind of, like, good old Paris days. So I was like, okay, I will definitely vlog as as we arrive into Naples. So we arrived into Naples, then we got on this beautiful boat which took us to Capri, then we took a funicular up to the Piazzetta, and now we are at the Hotel Cusisana, and I'm gonna show you my room. It's very, very Capri style, which we love, don't we? Dun, da, da, da. I love it so much. Look how beautiful is this. It's a very big room, and I have a very nice balcony with the sea view. Let's show you. Look at this. Oh, and it's so warm. People are like, can you see people are swimming, chilling by the pool? And I don't know if I told you, but we are here with Pucci and my Theresa. Here's a note from Camille, the creative director. I've already opened it. So this is our schedule, as you can see, the next three days in Capri. Then this, I was like, oh, what is this? I haven't opened everything, just this, basically. Is a comb. How cute is this? With a print. Stunning. This, oh, this reminds me of the, like, Gucci show invitations. They used to look like this, and then inside would be a scarf. Like a little bandana. Yes! Literally the same. Ah, uh, this is so cute. Here we go, and it's actually matching this, whatever this is, I'm not sure. These are leggings. Wow, this is really, really... Oh, it's for yoga! And I was wondering, like, what am I gonna work out in? Because we have, like, a workout session tomorrow. And then this is a beauty case, which I adore. It's my favorite thing. And a little notebook. This is so cute. La Grotta Azzurra. Beautiful. And this I'm, I'm literally obsessed with. It's actually also beautiful inside and it's filled with useful products for the strip. So, including the, the like headache tablets, chewing gum, Dior Rouge uh, balm, 
earplugs, etc. So, very, very nice. Thank you so much, Pucci, for having me here. May seems to be a month of, like, a lot of Italian brands for me. I have, like, so much planned with, like, big, biggest kind of brands there are, and I'm very excited. I just need to make sure that I rest because today I was like, okay, so when I check into my room, what am I going to do? Because, honestly, I'm a little bit tired but that's fine what i'm more is like i need to kind of like recollect everything that i have ongoing like mentally you know so i'm gonna do my makeup first of all i was gonna vlog this with my makeup done but no this is just my face and i really want to hydrate a lot because taking two planes in two days and gonna be more the ass tomorrow i just need to like you know give my skin some dlc so let's do that now okay i think this is much better i'm not wearing any um mascara or like eye makeup just because i want to get dressed up later on but some base some color some eyebrow gel you know it helps a lot I'm gonna go for a stroll now your girl got dressed and honestly i just realized i packed a bunch of nothing literally i mean could be could have been worse because i'm moving houses after all and we know how hard it can be to move that's just what i'm selling, telling myself but anyway on a brighter note and a happier note and a very 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 exciting note guys our couch has just arrived and i'm not there to see it which is making like i'm gonna be very honest with you i love to work i'm a super super workaholic and i'm someone that I don't know, like, I don't need to be extra motivated to work. Like, I'm always feeling so motivated to work. Why does my skin look kind of weird here? I need to moisturize, I think. Anyway, the point is that now that the house is coming together, I'm not motivated to work because I want to be there and see it all as it's happening. Because I'm so excited. You know, like, that feeling when you get a new toy and then you want to play with it and you don't want to go to school because you just want to play with a new toy? Well, that's how I feel. I want to see the house. So today, as the couch was getting delivered, my boyfriend called me on FaceTime and we had, like, an incredible... Well, first of all, we had we found the most incredible couch that i've been wanting my whole life and second of all we dealt with like an incredible two incredible guys that like helped us a lot obviously like i bought the couch it's not like sponsored or in any way like discounted or anything like that it's just like found it saw it loved it bought it but the experience was so good that i'm gonna talk to you about it once once i show it to you i'm so happy to be here because i'm here with a lot of my friends and it's like really nice and i'm so privileged to be in capri but you know the feeling when you just want to see the home. That's the thing. Now, anyway, let me show you the outfit. It's quite similar to the one that I wore at Coachella. Uh, first, we got this short sleeved Kate top that you can see um, Attica pants. And then I need to properly put on the Chanel sandals. I could have worn heels with this. But you guys know Capri is very casual, right? Let me show it to you better this way. So yeah, many of you I'm sure know that Capri is very casual, it's not about, it's not about, I'm not gonna go in like a sparkly crazy dress, this is the, they call it the Capri style, you know, and I'm gonna go for this bag because I think this is super cool. Now I could go for heels but I'm not so sure about that, but this I kind of... I'm digging, right? I will link all these items below so you can check them out and you can get some of your own. There's, I hope you can see me. Wait, let's clean the camera. There's only one problem with um, being in Capri for two days. Their shops are so appealing. Like, I saw Chanel has like what it seems like most of the spring and summer collection. Hermes was kind of like nice, kind of quiet. Uh, just went past Bottega, they have like a ton of stuff. Dangerous, dangerous. And just one more thing that I can never have enough of, like this view, which seems like infinity. Ah, it's so beautiful, honestly. I'm speechless. How cute is this? Like, honestly, I'm loving this Pucci situation at Bartiberio. Moment, so. Guys, we are getting lost. Wow, look what I discovered! Oh, that's so nice! It's so beautiful. We're basically lost in Capri. Yeah, Hi. so we found. Well, actually, no, this is the thing. I had to go and change because I was cold in Ginevra, too. <laughs> and now, oh, this gets worse and worse. We're trying time. to find a restaurant. <laughs> But by following Ginny's map, and she already got it wrong twice. Look, this, this looks like a rural kind of, you know, village. 
and now if we make it down and it's snowing we have to wait like take all of these roads back up whereas i told you that this is not the way <laughs> i'm not gonna be happy at all as you know and this is gonna be like the last video of me alive and i'm hungry i'm not gonna kill you i'm just gonna like punish you <laughs> <laughs> So you guys, we're basically like in the middle of nothing, and yeah, and I'm so hungry. We're gonna go back. Lordy, getting, Lordy, hell, this vlog is getting. Do you think it's safe? I think so, especially that part there. Do you want to show the? You want to show the people? Yeah, it's not honestly. Do you think it's safe? Like it's not gonna crash. You, I don't think it's gonna crash. I think we have the perfect shoes. <laughs> but you know, I'm scared of heights. Um, you know what? There's no other way down. No, there isn't. I'm gonna get on my ass. <laughs> what? Well, do you, think you want me to film this for you? Okay, here we go. Do you think they're snakes? Um, Not this time of day, right? You know what? I don't Actually, fucking it's very know. Comfortable. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Amazing. But, Jeannie, I don't think that it's manageable. Come after me. Okay, I'll come after you. I'm gonna stop the video, though. Also, there are no signs. Try, you're gonna get a lot of views on YouTube. <laughs> but this is the rose we need, right? I think so, yes. Why don't you come down here? <laughs> okay. You'd be surprised, okay? Still haven't made this to the restaurant. Not to self. Never let Ginevra do the Google Maps. Do the navigator. You really should come go to digital stuff. Not but? today. No. And now we're on a road and not even a goat. <laughs> <laughs> to go on. Why did we go to change? Oh my god, it gets worse. <laughs> I can't go up. These are the slippers shoes ever. <sighs> Let's see. new day and i'm dressed in pucci with my misoma sunglasses i will link these below i don't think i've shown you these have i no i haven't i have three pairs of the new misoma sunglass collection it's not sponsored i'm just telling you i mean i do work with the brand but i really like these they're navy i don't really think i have any navy sunglasses i'm wearing a total kind of total pucci look not really but yesterday at the fitting i picked these pants look how well they go with my orans I also have bottoms of the bikini and I have a new top that I yesterday bought at Chanel. I didn't love that, but you know, um, it's just like a very classic top with a little mini logo over here. That's not the only thing that I got, by the way. I also have this uh, sort of like a linen cotton cotton shirt on with the same print and I decided to go for a pop of color. I had two options. I had my like mini Kelly in brown or this one and I decided to go for gold because it is Pucci after all, right? We are going to the store to check it out first here in Capri, the Pucci store and then we're going for lunch but we have to take a boat so it's going to be a bit of a journey I'm very excited and I am going to bring you with me even though the camera does not fit in the bag can we just give I like a tiny, tiny applause for the dedication. Okay guys, we just made it to the Pucci boutique in the country. And honestly, ugh, there is so much. I just want to go to the beach, enjoy the summer. I'm wearing something like this today to the lunch. You will see it very soon. And I also wanted to show you this. This print is going to be like my evening look in this kind of print. Uh, we don't have it here, but I love this skirt so much and even though I'm not like a heavy print person like for me This is just beautiful. I would never skip this. We are taking the boat to Bagni Tiberio, Bagni Tiberio And we got like a boat to ourselves. So we got very very lucky because Yeah 
the other people they all got a long boat because so. <laughs> we were on the last like we were like it's okay we'll wait for the next one and now we got super lucky it's a bit windy because we're on a boat but we're riding i can't remember if i was here before last summer i don't think so Guys, where am I? I didn't really vlog much today because I was just enjoying the time. I was talking. Also, we were at the table um, at lunch with like like CMO and CCO. So it's not like I was gonna be like, so hi everybody. It just felt a little bit like I wanted to be very like professional and serious and not touch my phone a lot or camera. I'm just getting ready with my good old trusty products. Uh, what can I tell you? It's not quite the season yet in Capri, so it's warm-ish, but it's not warm like for swimming. Some people did swim though. And for me, personally, I'm really just enjoying the spring, like the spring kind of time. I'm spending like the day trying to create content and do stuff, but also I'm in constant contact with a lot of people in Milan because I just need to make sure that everything's running smooth at home. Now I remember I told you I didn't show you what I got at Chanel. I got this top, right, that I've shown you, this one, and I also got another top. Let me see where it is. This top that basically I really think is super, super cute. I'll insert a picture of it the wrong way. I think it's so beautiful. So now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna get dressed. I'll show you the view, like it's spectacular. Someone's shooting. Oh, it's Tiffany. Let me show you. This is the view. You can see Tiffany shooting by the pool, looking fabulous, right? And I really need to get ready because clearly other people are ready already. <laughs> so yeah, I need to be faster. One other thing, since I didn't vlog that much, I'm not gonna finish, I think, vlog in Capri. I'm gonna bring you home. We're gonna see where we are with the boxes and all of that good stuff so that we can do some work together. Before it gets too dark, I just wanted to show you my dress, the Pucci silk dress. Quite cute for like summer days. I think I'm gonna wear the purple Chanel bag because that goes quite well. Our Pucci outfits. <laughs> show, show me your shoes. Oh, wait, what are they? <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, okay, good, good, good. That's what I was wondering. Wow, wow, <laughs> <laughs> the outfit though, and we kind of match. We're getting a taxi. Wow, the sunset is so pretty. Um, Evangel is a bit behind because she's in heels, it's a bit intense, and we're going that way, but we need to see this first. And to show you, oh, how pretty! I love this so. So, so, so much. This is the Piazzetta. And we're walking to the taxis, basically. This time of the day is very pretty because, like, you know, sunset, golden hour, all that good stuff. Oops, all that good stuff. For some reason, I can't hold the camera. And it's only two days until I get my new camera. So, this next video should be filmed with a new one. Which makes me happy. This is a Capri taxi and they look like this basically. Wow, well we are gonna get in the back. Oh, I got Huh? Do you wanna see in the back? Because I don't yeah, mind. I don't, I don't care at all. I don't care either. Same. I just removed my makeup. I had a shower, which was so great. And now I have to go to Evangeli's room where I left my laptop to charge because I actually, I think I left my charger at Plaza Atene. But I mean, like, can you blame me considering I left so early in the morning? Yeah. At the moment, I feel so per like super happy. I had a great time here. Really love Capri. 
honestly like always have great fun with my Teresa team the only thing is I'm a bit exhausted because I know what's waiting for me I'm gonna land City of Wale in Milan at around 4 so it shouldn't be too long until I'm at home because you know the, the airport's pretty central but I think as soon as I arrive I'm gonna have a shower and I'm gonna start unboxing my wardrobe which actually it might sound very boring but in my case I'm super super excited because I have so many boxes that I haven't seen of clothing for almost a year since July so yeah it's very exciting but also it's gonna be a lot of work I think I have like 300 pairs of shoes to place somewhere I have like many 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 boxes of clothes etc <sighs> So yeah, but I also have great support system. My mom is coming, my sister's coming, like my boyfriend's gonna be there, like I have my team also on kind of like, they're like all offering to help. So I'm not very concerned. I'm just more excited to show you all of these things that I've completely forgotten about. And I'm sorry, I don't know why I look like this. Guys, not so much of an Amalfi coast anymore, right? We have, Wow, uh, like, you know, when you come from Capri, like, the journey is quite long, right? It's not exactly quite an easy journey, but I decided to give my skin makeup-free day today because, well, because first of all, I'm super comfortable with... Uh, itchy. I'm super comfortable with no makeup when I travel, like, even if I'm with my colleagues, etc. You will often see me with no makeup. Second of all, because I have so many things on my agenda this month that I really want to have as much rest for makeup as possible. I arrived straight to the new house um, to do some unpacking. And we have a lot to do. Honestly, I kid you not, we have a lot to do. The boxes are everywhere. I think I'm starting with the bathroom because the thing is that I haven't actually managed to get rid of a lot of things that I don't want for the reason that like obviously I didn't pack us when we were leaving Paris so I couldn't do like packing when you get rid of everything you don't need so we arrived now to the new home with a lot of things that I don't actually want so I'm gonna have a lot of things to take care of right away there are so many of my fragrances these are all from Paris and so many that I haven't actually had for quite a while you know it's like oh I forgot about this one love it yeah there's just a lot of stuff and then who remembers this coffre that came with like initials and before I revealed my, who my boyfriend was I couldn't actually reveal it fully but LV family sent us both uh, these have so much stuff that I completely forgot about I received these stunning fragrances from Fragrance Dubois and I couldn't, I never even tried them, like, or used them because honestly it all arrived when just like in the same week that we got robbed, so everything, you know, happened. And same goes for like a lot of Chanel beauty products. Then I have my Dysons, which I thank God had also <laughs> in my Milanese home. So yeah, there is a lot to go through, to unpack and to organize. Then my temporary um, wardrobe is filled with boxes. And again, a lot of things from Paris, like, I think this I just got a day before we got robbed. It's like a beautiful, beautiful uh, jewelry box. I forgot even about it because it literally everything was such a, you know, haze after. So many things that like, you know, I haven't seen in so long and it's almost like so exciting that I want to, you know, open everything. Then we have... I like all my belts that I need to organize. I have a lot of sunglasses. I have a lot of jeans that I haven't even had with me for the longest time. As you can see, then over here I have the trays. This, I love this. I have a lot of stuff. I don't even know what's in here, honestly. Like, I'll have to go through everything one by one. Then this box, oh, I love this so much. This was a gift for, uh, from LV as well. Another one of their coffres. Coffres. <laughs> and yeah, I guess I gotta start unboxing because honestly, <sighs> yeah, what can I tell you? There is a lot. Can I give you all a very important advice? Like do not ever have just your boyfriend pack your house when you're leaving because I just found out that of all the cutlery that we had, he bought like, he brought or packed from Paris Two spoons, two forks, and one knife of a full set. So, yeah. 
<laughs> love it. Don't you just love it? Men are so special. I cannot not love them. Love them. I'm so excited to unbox all of these boxes from Paris. And now I'm just like, not even sure. Let's tell you. Well, let's see. Baby, no, no, boy, I'm going to. Because I'm going to be here. No? No. Andiamo a casa vecchia e facciamo una dolcetta e stasera andiamo da... Tatria! No? Well, it's up to you. Tatria. Do you want uh, gnocchi or do you want um, spicy tuna? Da Nobu! Sì. Da Nobu. Nobu? Ma non abbiamo prenotato. It's fine. Tatria. We don't have to. Don't worry. Guys, I'm so sad I have to leave the new home. I don't want to leave it. And on top of that, we have the new couch. We have like... We brought our booklet chairs. So many of you asked me, by the way, where these chairs are from. I think I said it before. I ordered it from Soho Home. It's so, so, so stunning. I love them. Uh, we have so much work to do. I don't want to show you anything now also because we don't have everything in place just yet. But as soon as we do, I will. These are the boxes that Filippo has already unboxed. Well done, baby. This yeah. is, yeah, we still have a ton and a ton at old house so we have to go and continue working on it guys i realized i never really ended yesterday's vlog and i am today working like super super hardly on unboxing with a special guest so you will have to watch the next video to see all the details on how it's going okay even me even him and we will see you in the next one bye guys